what's up what's up guys good evening good evening good evening good evening hey 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 um want to jump on here this evening jump on here see how everyone is doing um want to jump on here and talk about this what's going on man in the oscar last night yeah i was sitting down here watching jumping on checking out the red carpet seeing what was going on can you believe we were actually watching the red carpet for the first time this year um on tiktok i was actually watching the red carpet on tiktok before they go into the oscar tonight i want to talk about that slap that your boy will submit um you know put on um chris rock uh for those of you who was not watching it i wanted to do it as a quick backstory you know quick backstory he was about to um address I think um the original documentary of the night is what chris rock was about to um go up and then he start he was about to talk about the winner of the best original documentary then he started to make a joke about um, Will Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. And then, of course, um, Jada Pinkett Smith started to wink her eyes like she wasn't taking it too. You know, she was taking it personal, you know, because he was talking about uh, her hair, you know, G.I. Jo- uh, G. Jane. There's a movie from years ago uh, that um, Demi Moore did. And he just jumped into a joke talking about, you know, she should you know, be the part, next part of G.I. Jane. But I don't know if he knew that she had like the alopecia going on which is just basically the lost of hair you know wherever hair used to go before where ball spot is at you know that's uh, what she has going on i think you mostly find this in men i'm not sure i've never heard a lot of cases with women but i know uh, once you start losing the hair so that's what's going on with jada pinkett smith now she took it personally what chris rock said on the stage and uh will smith jump up out of his seat you know walk up on the stage without any words and put a slap on this dude right on the middle of the stage now tonight i want to talk to you guys about it i want to see who wants to uh, jump in here and um, be a part of the comment let me know what's going on what you guys are thinking about um about how this thing all went down last night because i mean personally he jumped on the stage he slapped dude chris rock took it um like a champ he sure did he just made a joke about it that uh will smith slapped it in shit out of him and that was that you know he didn't um he didn't do anything but at the same time i've been looking all over the internet and just seen a lot of people are having one or two uh, conversation about it you know like if that was them in that situation you know because normally you know when you hit the lion or you know you back a lion in the corner the lion try to attack so the way he slapped this dude you know last night you know like he was his child I don't know, man. I want to see what you guys have to say about it. You know, hey, I put a link in the chat. Uh, you guys can call in, um, you know, so we can have a conversation right here live. Uh, you guys don't have to show your face if you don't want to. But the link is in the chat. Yeah, I just throw it up on the screen here for a second also. But um, yeah, please call in, voice your opinion. Let me know what you guys think about um, what happened last night with this dude. Uh, this thing is going back. It's been going back for a minute. Uh, Chris Rock did um, something back in 2016 also where there was a situation where jada pinkett smith she was like boycotting the oscar at the time because of diversity and of course again it was chris rock he jumped on in he said hey uh you know how could you you know to him it was like um i think he made to comment to some to the sort of like she was not invited or how she would not be invited you know for 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 him it was almost like how um what was the exact comment i don't don't quote me exactly on the exact comment that he made but it was something to the sort of that he you know for him being invited it's it's almost like him being invited to you know uh or he's be a part of the whole rihanna Rihanna panty something of the sort i remember exactly but go back to 2016 there was a comment that he made against jada pinkett smith and then in 2018 there was another situation another comment that he made about jada pinkett smith you know again at the wills you know the um the smiths and then last night 2022 at the oscar you know he came out you know and then he made a comment and um i don't know this one was seems a little bit on the insensitive style i think because of the fact that she's going through you know uh, her well-being or what's going on with her hair that she's losing her hair that's the reason why she keeps balling her head so i mean for me it's uh it's a little bit personal no, I think Will Smith could have handled it differently. I think it was a little childish the way he handled it. But at the same time, I, I thought uh, Chris Rock was a little bit out of line. But at the same time, Chris Rock handled it very well. Because like I said, most people, you slap on them. I mean, you know, you're going to get a right hook. That's what I'm thinking. 
So uh, I'm just one of those, and I want to see what you guys have. <laughs> what do you guys think about this? Uh, what you know what happened and how it went down last night? What are your thoughts? Um, you know, do you guys think? Let me see who's in the chat. So a lot of people in the chat. Good evening, guys. Good evening, Felipe. Felipe. Good evening, uh, Simena. Good evening. Uh, hey guys, I'm putting the link in the chat. Please call in, voice your opinion because maybe what you want to say it's going to be too much to put inside the chat. Uh, Mona Morrison, good evening. How are you? I think this was staged, she said. Uh, due to the repetition for Will and Jada, you know, to shut up the internet or it could be a humanitarian, hmm, humanitarian ritual. Could this be, could this have been staged, guys? What do you guys think? Um, Mona Morrison think this was staged. I don't know, Mona. I, I saw the look on Chris' face, man. You know, that slap just, just put his, you know, he just had his jaw just, just flying to the other side. You know, and then Will just walked back down, you know, right off the stage. I mean, I get it. They had a lot of, you know, stuff going on, allegedly stuff going on within their marriage, you know, because, you know, his wife been talking for the last year or two. She's just been talking, talking, talking. I mean, I hear people are saying we're tired of her being on the Internet or being on <laughs> just on the screen talking about her marriage to Will and all the other stuff. So I get it. Maybe he feel uh, a little bit less than a man as far as that is concerned. I don't know. And maybe he has to address this issue. Maybe that's the reason why he go up on the stage. I'm not sure. You know, uh, who to tell if that's the reason why he did. Hey, guys, remember, I put the link in the chat. Please hit that link. Call me. Let You know, let's have a conversation about it. Uh, Bobby Pride said it was a fake slap, bro. Bobby Pride, you believe it was a fake slap, too? Really? I don't know, man. I, 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 don't, I don't see it as a fake one, Bobby. For me, it, it's it, that slap was, was solid because... It's just the way it happened. And then he came down and sat inside the stage. And you see his eyes start to like tearing up. And he's he's like getting into this into this emotional feel about. I mean, I get it, he's an actor, right? But the way he was just there, you know, tearing up emotionally, sitting down beside his wife and saying, you know, you know, keep uh, my wife mother effing, you know, name out your mouth. So I don't, that's why I don't think it's it was fake. I don't think it was fake, but I mean, you know, it's it's all right, you know, everyone I value everybody's opinion. So if you think it was fake, Bobby, all right. Um, let me see what else. Huh? Felipe says fake. Yeah, Felipe. That's that's what I'm saying. It's the same thing I'm saying. Ha ha. Um, Chris was left with a with a crooked mouth. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying. Same thing I was saying that he he took it hard. He took it hard, but it is it is something that's been going on for a little while. So I thought he had to knew what was he had to know what was coming if you know he keeps uh, going around and start talking about the people and. And, you know, he, every time he goes up on the stage, then that's the first thing he's mentioning, uh, you know, if in a big award show like this. Because, like I said, this is not the first time he's, he has done it. He did it before and he's doing it again. So that's what I thought. Um, I thought that was uh, that was interesting. Thought that was interesting. And um, yeah, I thought it was interesting, um, you know, when I when I saw it up on the stage, you know, I was I was I was surprised, to be honest. I'm sitting there, I'm watching the Oscar, I was surprised because remember I was watching the whole, you know, um the whole time it was on the red carpet until it went inside and then they're going through the I think personally this takes away from you know King Richard, the story. I really think it takes away from it because today it's kind of unfair because we're talking about the slap and not about what happened with the movie and you know his first Oscar. You know what he's given and uh, the body of work that he had to put in and all the interview and all of the travels around the world to promote the movie and then this whole slap took everything away from it so let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys think and see uh, see what's going on shelly johnson says it was real and will was very angry um shelly i believe it i believe it was real um will is being pissed because he's been pissed for a minute as far as um you know he's going he's been going through this for a minute and because chris rock has done it before in the past i think that's the reason why he's actually um he's actually upset because you know going back to 16 and then how and oh the thing that he was upset about in 2018 was when uh, you know he made a comment you know on will Smith um ex sheree you know they, they did a birthday comment uh, he did a birthday post and he commented on it and said man your wife you know, uh, your wife must be um, must be very understanding. So you figure 16, 2016, 2018, and now 2022. It's a build up, is what I think. Let's see what you got to say. Mona, Mona Morrison says, uh, first he was laughing at the joke, then Jada rolled her eyes, 
and then <laughs> uh there you go mona that's what i'm saying so he was laughing at the joke first but then when he looked over at jada you saw jada i saw jada her eyes just rolled like she was just upset she was pissed if she could get she wasn't so small i'm pretty sure she'll jump up on the stage and attack that dude herself but of course you know she's like a mini me and then you have uh she's a smaller person that you have will smith that's like six two or something like that so he just went up and put a slap on homeboy up there but like i said he slapped the right dude because being in another a different situation and he slapped someone else you know it, it would have gone down in the oscar that would have made the history of the oscar you know they wouldn't even have to worry about ratings after um if he was if he was slapping on somebody that was his size uh let me see what else you guys are saying um what real man slap another man um huh, my husband and i agree after um going all the way up there to slap nah i thought it was gonna be a punch i thought it was gonna be a punch mona but when i realized it was a slap i i said you know what maybe he doesn't want to be charged because just imagine this guy was training he played a move he played the part right remember he played the role for muhammad ali right remember he did that movie so they had to train him he had to build up muscle you know he had to get his boxing skills in but i just think if he punched that dude he would have been out cold on the oscar stage and just imagine uh having you know someone on the oscar stage knocked out you know someone like chris rock hey janet good evening hey guys i'm putting the um link in the comments please um be a part of the conversation please call in uh let me know what you think janet good evening how are you hi hey how are you i'm calling all the way from jamaica <laughs> that's what's up that's what i'm talking about what is your comment tonight on what happened on the oscar stage last night because the oscar man i don't know they're thinking about i don't know if they're thinking about revoking or rescinding this whole oscar thing but they said the oscar actually um you know they were the oscar was not obvious it's a prestige thing and um will smith made it look really bad for you know the oscar in itself so what are you what are your thoughts on it this year you know do you think he handled well he handled to be honest correctly? with you i mean it's very it's 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 uh i keep i keep reconnecting i'm so sorry um to be honest with you it was really surprising it was really really surprising and I honestly did not expect that from Will Smith. Nobody I did. I mean, the mere fact that when um when Chris Rock made the comment, he was actually smiling, you know, but then I guess because his wife, you know, rolled his eyes, she wasn't too pleased with that comment. And that's one of the reasons that that literally draws him up. And I'm really disappointed. I mean, we are black people and, you know, people always look to see or want to see. A lot of people want to see the words in, you know, that is something that some people were looking for, I should say. I mean, take no offense for my comments, please. Um, but I really want to commend... I really want to commend Chris Rock, you know, his reaction, not, not reacting, not taking some actions that he will end up um, regretting later on. I really have to commend him on that. That was really, really, really cool. You know, he turned everything out into a joke and then he realized it was really serious. It was getting really serious. I have to commend him on, on, on how he took it on stage. I agree, uh, Janet, and I'm telling you, when I looked at the way Chris uh, Rock, Janet, I, I, and I, I'm telling you, when I looked at the way Chris Rock, I think you have me in speaker. I think I'm here. Well, I, I, I think you have me in speaker. You have me in speaker uh, out there, Janet? I'm not sure. I'm not sure yeah, yeah, sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm here myself. That's the reason why. Janet, you might have to mute me because I'm here. I'm here myself back in the transmission. Oh, let me, let, maybe i can mute you let's see all right here we go all right there we go i got you uh I'll, I'll open it back up in a second janet what what i saw from chris rock i mean when he stood up there and he took the slap the way he did and he just made fun about it he just said hey i got slapped the shit out of by will smith 
and you know the whole world is watching the oscar and the way he took it you know i i don't know if he could have taken it any better than the way he took it because he just took the slap he didn't say anything you know he just made fun about it and then shortly after um p diddy that was going to be presenting next he came out and said that you know we all have to leave you know in love we have to come out here in love and he wanted to make amends between chris rock and uh will smith because it's not necessary on the biggest of stage you're getting your first oscar uh he, all this body of work 20 plus years of work you've never gotten an oscar and you're getting your first oscar and the only thing we can remember now going forward is that the night that you receive your first oscar you slap the shit out of somebody on the stage and now people are going to be putting your name your face in the context with oh you were you know you were being violent you know with someone on the stage but definitely i think his wife draw him out because of the way she looked i think she looked up there and she rolled her eyes like oh here we go again it was like i said it happened in 16 something happened in 16 something happened in 2018 and now in 2022 so they maybe they feel like they've been picked on especially at the oscar Go ahead, Janet. I can hear you. Yeah, I, I I agree with you. I agree with you. I mean, you've been working all these years and, you know, just collecting your Oscar and then this is what happened. And, you know, it was really upset and going on, you know. But as I said, you know, we have to hold our temper at times. I honestly did not expect it, expect that from him. But, you know, I still love Will Smith. I still love his work. You know, they, those are two great people. They did some work out there. Trust me, I really respect them. And I honestly did not expect that from him. But we do make mistakes sometimes, and I'm sure he's going to regret it. Yeah, yeah. Because it's think... not cool. <laughs> Go ahead, Janet. Yeah, yeah, Janet. So I think so. I think it's definitely um, he's going to have some regrets, especially with the, the way the Oscars, um, the, what, the, what they're thinking of doing, how they, they, they're going to a formal review. They're condemning him. Uh, exactly what those words mean in the case of the Oscar. But uh, they're condemning him. They're going to do a formal review. Uh, we see it on TV, so it's not like, you know, we can say, oh, man, you know, did he allegedly slap him? No, we saw all the cameras were looking, you know, everyone was at the Oscar and they saw the slap. So uh, I thought he would have apologized backstage um, during the time that he had the chance to do it. Because, you know, after maybe he was going through the emotion at the time and he just jumped up. Of course, his wife didn't tell him to just jump up and go do what you're doing. So I'm just thinking that maybe he should have apologized a bit backstage and then just try to do like what P. Diddy said. Let's leave out of here with love. Let all of us just walk out with love and just think about love and just try to mend the relationship because it's, it doesn't make any sense for us to be fighting, you know, on the stage in front of all of these people around the globe. So um, do you so you definitely don't think it was the right way? You think Chris Rock handled it the right way? You just don't think Will Smith handled it the right way, right? Will Smith handled it the right way, right? Definitely, definitely. I really commend Chris Rock on, you know, just handling it like a man, a man with respect, integrity, a man that is strong. Not everybody is will be would be able to do that. Some people probably would <laughs> start rolling. You know, but I have to commend him, definitely. And as I said, I'm disappointed in 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 um, Will Smith because at first he was he was actually smiling because that's just an honest joke. It's a cool joke, you know. Nothing is nothing was wrong with it, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. But I said we do make mistakes all the time, but this one I think is going to regret. Okay, Janet, hold on for me one second, please. Um, one second, I'm going to bring. Um, and you know hey Hello. Nika, good evening good evening hey how are you i'm good I, how are you doing? hold on hold on janet hold on for me one second hold on i'm gonna re just wait for one second let me hear um um one second go ahead go ahead nika sorry okay oh okay i'm what sorry is, what is your opinion tonight on this so, thing do you think the, the my, oscar should rescind it or revoked what do you think no i think they, i don't think they should revoke him i think they should i mean i i don't know i can 
I think it was. I think the slap was worth it. I'm sorry. You think the slap was worth it? I think the slap was worth it. Um, especially because Jada had like Jada's been going through alopecia for years. Like she always openly talked about it and everything. And I just feel like that joke was insensitive. And I feel like when he looked over at her and he saw her face, like he just couldn't hold it no more. So I don't know. I I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Nikki. Do you think that Chris Rock knew that she was going through alopecia for all these years or not? Because if we know, but they're from the older, maybe an older generation, you would say they don't, they're not so much on the social media as the younger generation like yourself. So do you think he knew that she was going through that and he was actually intentionally trying to be insensitive to her or not? What do you thought? So on that? the way he said the joke, I don't think he knew, but... Okay. You're on the Oscars and those jokes are screened. Like he's like what like was he, you know what I'm saying? You telling me nobody cleared that joke? I, I don't know. It's hard to say. I this feel, is not his first time at the Oscars. So maybe they believed a little bit into what he was saying and said, you know, because even though you have the stuff staged, the questions, right? One or two questions are gonna slide out. Listen. Our president was just out here talking the other day and then he put his two words in it. We're human beings. So we're going to add one or two words to whatever the comments is. So I don't know if he knew she had what she had or what she's been going through all this time. But man, I would hope he didn't know that and and trying to treat her this way because he did. You, you remember back in 2016 what he did, right? What, what he actually did when he was making the comments against, you know, after she was crying over diversity in the Oscar. And she was saying mm -hmm. she's not going. And then he came out and said some things about her then. And in 2018, yeah. when Will Smith did the whole um, thing for his ex, uh, the happy birthday on Inst uh, I was Instagram, one of the social media, then he yeah. jumped out and said, man, your wife must be really understanding. So he's putting the fire on top of the... <laughs> man, I don't know, man. He, I think the slap was deserved. You think the slap was deserved? I don't know, but I don't know. I, I don't think the slap was deserved, Nikki. I'm you telling you. You don't think so? No, you, you have to be the bigger person. I mean, you have to be the bigger person. Hold on, Janet. Cut, 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 cut. Hold on. Sorry. Hold on. Sorry. No, I, I should have had, though, but you know. I mean, Will with Will Smith and, you know, so many persons watching, we have teenagers, we have children, we have everything. And violence is not the answer. I don't know. I also think, too, like, one of the other things that I was thinking, I don't even think that slap was really meant to be rock. I feel like that slap had, like, 20 years worth of slap like chris rock was just the face of all the frustration and everything that he's been going like their whole family's been going through for the last couple of years i feel like chris rock just was that person that just that was it for him like he he reached his breaking point and he just couldn't hold it any longer so i feel like maybe it wasn't necessarily towards chris rock i feel like it was just maybe years and years of frustration that he just had to let out at that moment i don't know but I, I don't know. Well, I've been following Jada and I know her. Th that joke was so insensitive. I don't know. Like, I even, like, grabbed my chest when I saw that. I was like, yikes. The only, the only thing I don't know if he knew, you know, exactly what um, was going on with Jada. Because, you know, Jada been saying a lot over the years on the television, like you said, you know, about exactly what's going on. But did he know what was going on? And he was intentionally trying to drag them out, draw them out. You know, because if he was, because Will was smiling about it until Jada start rolling her eyes. Then he's like, man, I got to go home to with Jada. And she's making up this kind of place. I'm going to slap the hell out of this dude right now. And that's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I think he was saying right there. Like, you know, Will was like, yo, let's, <laughs> let me get this yeah. done. I'll, I'll apologize for it tomorrow. Because I was yeah. reading something earlier that, you know, they were, because they were talking about condemning him and all that stuff, that he's supposed to be apologizing to Chris Rock. So I don't know. Chris Rock is not going to file any charges. So we'll see how this thing pans yeah. out. I feel like they'll get over it. Like, Will... I don't know. I don't think Will is really like that. Like I said, I feel like he reached his breaking point. Like, when have we ever seen Will Smith do anything like this? 
No, that's what I'm saying. Will Smith have always been the guy that's very calm and yeah. he's always laughing about something. He's the comedic guy. He's the guy that we saw on Fresh Prince is the same. Even when he was shooting the the, the whole um, the movie with the the space movie, right? You know, with Tommy Lee. <laughs> Even then, at that time, he was still laughing about everything. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Nikki, hold on for me one second, please. One second, please. Hey, good evening. Good evening, Jason. What's up, my man? Hey, good evening, sir. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> man, <laughs> this 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 whole thing, man. Okay, <laughs> I saw it yesterday. Thing? At first, I thought that it was just it was a joke, right? Okay. Sure. Because when Chris when Chris Rock said the joke, you know, Will Smith was sitting there and he was just laughing. And then the next minute, the next thing you know, he's walking out to him and slap the shit out of him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Chris That's Rock, but you he, saw his wife's face, right? Right, right. The wife wasn't laughing. Jada wasn't laughing at the time. So Jada, you know, Jada probably looked at Wilson and was like, "What the fuck are you laughing about?" Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Which yeah. probably caused Will Smith to get up and go and slap the shit out of a uh, 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 what's his name, Chris, Chris Rock. Rock. Chris and the Rock. way Chris Rock Chris responded Rock. Yeah, was like, "Damn, Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me." <laughs> yeah, because he you was know, surprised he, himself he, that he got that slap. You saw his right. face, like. What? Right, he kept doing his joke and stuff, and then he goes back and sit down, and he's like, "I, th I think it's been, it's been happening. He's been, you know, like, uh, like Nika said, it's, you know, the last two years have been rough on the, uh, on the Smiths family, right? And, and this is all Jada's fault, you know, because since she got the red table talk, she's out there spilling out all their business to the public." Now the public know, knows all their businesses. So now, you know, everybody's coming after Will Smith. Will Smith is not a man enough. He's not strong enough. He's weak enough. And yet you have this woman going around talking about Tupac, like Tupac is the God. He's the God. You Very know, at, at some <laughs> point, Will Smith, he, he probably felt like, I, I got to act like Tupac a little bit. You know, <laughs> I got I, I to gotta bring a thug out of me. So when I go home, I might get some, some good <laughs> pussy. So I, I don't know. Yeah. Hey, yeah, check this out. So when he went up on the stage, right, and he slapped the dude, at the same time, you're going to have some dude out there that's looking and saying, man, that was kind of bitchy because he slapped the dude. He should have gave him one punch if he wanted his manhood back. Because right. if he thought Jada took away his manhood over the last few years, he should have did a punch. Yeah, I mean, it, it should have been a punch, but I don't know. Will Smith, you know, he's he's not really like that. It, it took a lot out of him to get up on the stage and slap Chris Rock like this. So I don't know, man. He's it, it was the whole thing. It was funny. It was funny. I, it was funny. It was funny until we yeah. found out that it was actually so serious. You know, we thought it was a joke at first, and then we saw what was going on. We're like, uh oh, oh, this is um, this is something serious. This guy is not playing. He's upset. Right. But you 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 are a celebrity, right? Sure. And and everybody knows that Chris Rock is a, is a comedian. When he gets on the stage, what he's going to do, he's going to make jokes about people. That's what he does. That's his job. So there's no reason for you to be mad at Chris Rock. Right? Very you know, true. what? if I was Will Smith, I would have waited and, and, and confronted Chris Rock, you know, behind the scenes and said, hey, what you said, you know, it might have been funny, but, you know, this is the actual situation. You know, my wife is going through something right now and it wasn't funny. And then he would have came back and apologized during the break. Yeah, because maybe he didn't know. That's what I was asking right. Nika a while ago. Do you think he knew that? Because you can't intentionally, you know, said you know these people. You're you're in Hollywood all these years, all of you guys, and I'm pretty sure you guys have done some form of business. And you right. can't know that his wife is going through something, and then you're you're intentionally making fun of her. I mean, that's not cool. And I, I don't think Chris Chris Rock is that kind of guy. Watching, no, he's career, not that kind of guy. Know. I don't think that was cool at all, but. You know, at the same time, <laughs> this shit was funny, man. <laughs> Nika is agreeing with the slap, man. Nika is agreeing with the slap. I'm just like, I don't know, man. I don't know, Nika. I have to look at the bigger picture. I'm, I'm feeling like this is his nah, career, he, he, he should have kept his composure and, and just ignore him and, and, and deal with him behind the scenes. You know, to do it. Well, this this is Will Smith's way of, of sending a message out to the public. You know what? I'm tired of your shit. Everybody's dragging me everywhere I'm going. You know, you're talking crap about my wife, my kids. You know, you, you, you're telling me I'm not man enough. I'm too soft. So, you know, 
I, I just want to let you know I'm not that soft. And then you come up there and give a slap instead of a punch. <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm so, saying? See what I'm yeah, saying? That's what, it, that's what I'm talking about. So there right. He, he should have punched him to the floor to where he can't do the show no more. Yeah. Then, and, and, then you would make a statement. Then you would make a statement. No, right. I, I feel like, like the statement was made with the slap. Because look, everybody's this. talking about it. Everybody's talking about it. it. The slap did what needed to be done. Everybody's talking about it. It brought up a lot of conversations as far as, because people think celebrities aren't human. That's celebrities true. Celebrities are human. They can only take so much. Yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe he could have, you know, not did that at the Oscars, but... Right. <laughs> But, but here, here's, just, here's my thing too. I don't think Jada should have been upset about the situation because she has the red table talk. She put all her business out there and she talks about people too. That's true. That's very true. You know, if she you're truly designed to in. talk about people, then if people talk about you, and in this instance, you know, um, Chris Rock is a comedian, right? The comedian, they, 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 they take the most painful situation and, and 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 make a joke out of it. Very so true. you have a little bit of laughter in 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 your life. You know that's what they do. Of course, that's and Chris Rock been doing that way before he was an actor. Remember, right. he was a comedian first. Right. But you know what I think is the problem, man. Um, they they grew up in a world where they were always on television and they never hear the comments. Right. It was always one or two Siskel and Ebert that was always reviewing their products. Right. Whether it was a movie or any interview they did, it was one or two people that was just reviewing it. Now, everyone with a cell phone, everyone with a camera, everyone is saying something. And there's just all oh, these comments that are coming in. So it, it's pissing off a lot of these celebrities. Yeah. Yeah. It, wasn't it, it, wasn't Will Smith on uh fucking uh Gal Kings not not long ago, about two, three weeks ago? I don't remember seeing that. Did you see that, Nika? Yeah, he, he did an interview with uh Gail King and uh, Gail King asked him uh a question about infidelity within his marriage. He said there was never an infidelity in the marriage. Oh, and then his wife goes on uh, on the other show and tells the whole story, and he's saying something different. So right, he's saying something different, so it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I didn't mm. see that. I didn't see that one, but they um they did talk about it. I do watch the Red Table Talk, so I I am frequent. I am a frequent watcher of that. Um, but when they both explained that whole situation, they were separated at the time, so they don't really consider it an infidelity. So <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's what they both said. So I don't this, know if that's something they agreed upon, but that's. I so mean, this is a situ was. this is a situation where someone is telling you the sky is red, and you need to believe it, right? Sounds Basically. like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't get it. Because Basically. We we all agree what the color what the color of things are we know what white is we know what blue is you we know what infidelity is and we know what uh, you know it is that okay we have our couple here and you know i mean come on we live in the same world we agree to the same things you're making your own rules and you want you want other people to believe so half of the people need to believe what you're saying is how it should be and the other half should say oh yeah let's go to the come on we know better than that so i, I don't i don't think um i don't think i don't think that's what it is Brenda Williams. Um, Brenda, good evening. How are you? So yeah, I don't, I don't think, I don't think that's what it is. But I mean, hey, you know, what do you think, uh, CH, um, CK? What do you think about them? There, you think they should re rescind or revoke the Oscar? Because you know that's how it is. If you keep putting a lot of I mean, on the topic, that's what it, will be next. It's, it's Will Nika, Smith. Thank you. It's Will Smith. If this was not Will Smith, if it was anybody else, I think it would have went. It, it would have been a different kind of situation. They put. They would have probably you know kicked you out of the room and also you know if you had any endorsements and, and and things of that nature they would have probably sanctioned you in some way or fashion but i think mm. because of because it's will smith and given the situation of jada then they're like okay listen let's let's just let's just keep things going you know okay so you I, feel so you feel like this as far as them revoking the oscar that might not happen because no that's that's not gonna happen this that's is his first oscar we're aware of that right this is yeah, his yeah, first yeah. Oscar, and we're yeah. going to remember this first oscar as the oscar where he got on stage and slapped the daylights out of chris rock right and this is his first oscar after 20 plus years 
of work you know just think about all the body of work that he had to put in all the things he had to do to just come to right now we're talking about we're not even talking about the oscar he got we're talking about the slap that he did so nobody even remember that he got an oscar last night right no no one is talking <laughs> about the oscar he got <laughs> <laughs> right, so, so, <laughs> hey you say <Zayna>. now <laughs> we'll get a good laugh from a joke before you decide to act the offense that's 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 too much that's too much yeah. so just <laughs> have you noticed when he was after the slap when he was walking back to his seat he was sure. smiling a little bit yeah but then he sat down and got serious again and then he had this tear up look on his face and, right. and start to curse on the oscar floor in front of the camera and saying oh don't do this don't you know take my wife effing uh name what, out your what mouth. would you have done jason what would you have done for me i i wouldn't have got up and slapped i wouldn't have got up and slapped i would have even if i got up like him i would have got up get up on stage you know take the mic and said hey you know tone it down a little bit you know stop being so insensitive i would have take it on on a different road i mean this i have worked so hard and i'm just finally getting to the stage where i'm going to get an oscar after you know almost 30 years of working i mean you know this guy's not young anymore and for me to just go up there and throw it out like that i wouldn't have done that i would I, there was no way i would have gone up stage and now um, yeah I, I, I think all the all the critics about their marriage is getting to will smith a little bit okay it is getting to his head a little bit it's bothering him and then okay. you know this this was just an opportunity this was the moment where he had to get up and and, and make a statement but hey brenda williams is saying it was a bad joke uh by chris rock i don't know if it was a bad joke man you, you can no, consider no, almost any joke bad right there's no there's no such thing as a bad joke by a comedian you know mm -hmm. i mean it, it's comedy the reason why they brought they brought remember what was it that was it in 2006 that they brought chris rock on they brought chris rock to host the the, the oscars 16 2016 they did that but when was the first time the very first time they did it the very, yeah the very first time i think it was like six or something like six or seven yeah, yeah it was it was way back that was the that was the highest rated oscar show that they they, they ever gotten sure so right they've had every, good experience with him over right the before they it used to be boring it's the most boring show ever sure so when they brought chris rock they booked him for that year it was the highest view the highest rated one then after that they after that they decided to bring him back a, a couple more times i don't know and this time they thought you know they needed chris rock to really come in and and, and, and you know and entertain the, the, the people sure and for this sure. to happen they, they, they really nailed it and i'm telling you <laughs> the Oscar have always need a little bit of entertaining because yes. it was always this button up suit kind of event and that was that you see what i'm saying yeah so that's what hey uh ck hold on for me one second please All let right, me cool. bring natalia into uh the chat. natalia good evening how are you good how are you all is well so what are your comments tonight on what happened last night at the oscar do you think they should rescind or revoke the um his oscar or not what are your comments on that i definitely don't think they should like take his take his oscar away because um whether what happened uh was like the right thing to do or not it shouldn't involve like it shouldn't matter like with his work and because we know will smith is a talented actor and he's been here forever and he's been working towards this so i don't think um whatever happened before should really affect that like as it was like a long journey for him to come to this point okay. and also i think the oscars have overlooked worse things that actors or directors or producers have done in the past like really really bad things um and still giving awards for this so it will seem hypocritical of them to take will smith's award away from him just for this situation when when there had been more serious situation regarding other actors they have still uh, been able to keep his awards and even get more nominations and more awards mm. Hey, look at what um, Hey You is saying. She said, uh, we'll show some male Karen energy last night. You imagine that? They're calling male Karen. They're calling Will a male Karen. Listen, mm -hmm. I think Will stepped out of line. Personally, I think Will stepped out of line. I think he handled it uh, 
for lack of a better word, like a bitch, she shouldn't have gone um, that way, slapping dudes around. You know what I mean? If, you, if you're going to go up there and do a punch, I would get it. But come on, people are talking about you all this time and about your relationship with Jade and everything going on. And I think that's the reason why it's, it's getting to him and he did what he did. So he went up and slapped. Then he went up and slapped the dude. Come on. What do you think they're going to think about you today and tomorrow after that? Be like, he went up and did a bitch slap. Do you see all the memes that they were making on TikTok and everywhere else? I have seen them. Um, <laughs> they are entertaining, to say the least. <laughs> um, yeah, but I feel like even if he, got, if he got mad and wanted to intervene in some type of way, he could have been the bigger person and just, like, say something that would make him look better. Like, say something like, stop making jokes about my wife's disease you don't know what's going on at home you don't know what's going on with her like just this is not funny you know like this is not good for her like i understand your opinion and stuff like that um but like this is not the way to this is not something that's uh, acceptable so don't okay. do this and then chris brad who could have uh, like the opportunity to apologize as he says that he didn't know about Jada's condition, um, I recently saw a tweet of Nicki Minaj, uh, and she was, I was it Nicki Minaj? Yeah, it was Nicki Minaj, and she was talking about how even if Chris didn't know this, like these jokes were like already very insensitive. Like, yeah, they're they and they um they the Oscars like everyone can approve and like look at these jokes and no one really like it was it's not to for some I feel like it was kind of overlooked her disease like they kind of knew that she was going through it and they were like yeah but it's a simple joke like nothing's gonna come out of it and that's why they allowed it to keep going because even if Chris didn't know there has been there must have been someone in the team of the Oscars that was aware of the situation and just decided to overlook the situation and allow Chris to say the joke. Um, and then we know how that came, like <laughs> the results of that. But I definitely think that Will Smith, this was an opportunity for Will Smith to act differently and see, okay. let the world see him in a different way. And he completely blew that up because he just slapped Chris. Like, hey. Listen, people have always thought Will Smith was a joker from the beginning. We've just never seen a side of this uh, from Will Smith. You know, uh, we understand that she has alopecia, so you can't be, you know, that insensitive. I mean, maybe he knew, maybe Chris Chris Rock did or did not know. But hey, uh, it's a sensitive situation. Um, Brenda Brenda Williams says it's a sensitive situation and it was a bad joke. I mean, uh, CK was saying there's no such thing as a bad joke. It's just part of the business. You know, you got to understand you're in the public light. You are a public figure. People are going to be talking about you. You can't stop that from happening. That's right. the reason why you chose that job in the beginning. No, yeah. And he's kind of right. Like, these comedians, their job is to make these type of jokes. And sure. yet, sometimes they go out of hand and they talk about things they should not be talking about. But no one has really, like, come out and say like hey this is not acceptable no one has really said like okay this is not you shouldn't go this far and this was like i feel like will could have said this is like even though if the joke was the joke he could have responded like hey this is like you're stepping out of line here like you no. know instead of just going and slap him in front of the whole like the oscars like that's like the biggest award ceremony for an actor and this was his moment when he was going to get his first Oscar. First Oscar. He completely like blew it up by reacting the way he did. Exactly. Well, he, he didn't know he was going to he was going to win the Oscars. That's one. And two, you know, uh, he was laughing at the joke. He found it funny. Yeah. Something must have happened. Right. Yes. Maybe the eyes, Jada, the eyes when, from when, the wife. when the when the cameras went off to Chris Rock, Jada must have said something to Will Smith. Probably, yeah. No, you know, I, to get Will Smith to get up and and and, and yeah. go slap him. No, at the beginning, when I I didn't watch the Oscar the show live, but I watched the clip and I thought it was a joke. I thought it was something scripted in the Oscars. Right. I, I thought it was scripted as well. Right. Because they have this, like, in award shows, they have these moments sometimes when 
they just do crazy things. And because like Will laughed at the beginning, then he goes, he slaps him. Chris is kind of like laughing at it because he doesn't know how to react. And then when he's walking back, when Will Smith's walking back to his seat, he's still smiling. So, and then he sits down and he, he starts yelling at him. And I was like, I was I was watching a video of one of the uh, people that were at the Oscars and they were saying how everyone in the audience thought it was a joke up until Will started screaming, yelling at Chris. And you know, this this was not Will Smith's first time for slapping somebody. Right. True. Very you true. Know, he, he slapped one of the, uh, a fan, what, was it a reporter or a fan that kissed him? Yeah, it was. I think it was. I think it was a fan that kissed him. Hey, look at what Progressive Element is saying, right? He's saying, "Is Will going to be going around slapping everybody that makes a joke about him or his family?" That has to be funny, kid. Because of course, what are you going to do? Slap? Hey, guys, hold on for me one second, please. I'm going to see if I can get Doctor Disrespect on the uh, in the chat. Doctor Disrespect, good evening, sir. Hey, Doc. Doc. Can't hear you. You're you're um you are muted. I think you mute your line, Doc. Hey Doc, try going back out, try hanging up, and then try hitting that link and come back in. Let's see if we can get you on this one. Try going back out one and, and then come back in, and I'll try to get you um when you come back in, Doc. Uh so yeah, Natty. So what what I think um CK jumped off. Hey CK, thanks for uh, thanks for checking in, man. Appreciate it. So um yeah, is is this is this what will will new thing now? He's gonna go around and start slapping people all over the place every time someone talk about his him or his family. Is that the new thing? Is that is that where we're gonna start drawing his career on? Well, because that, no. after your career get to go ahead, say that again. No, hopefully this is just a moment that kind of like he reacted on what he was feeling on emotion. Uh, but this still like I feel like Will Smith has like before this had a rep, um, reputation of a very like decent um, well known actor that a lot of people like you know he he kind of gave out the vibe of a person who cared about you know humanity and society and things like this and and then you know he comes to the Oscar and react this way kind of like makes people think twice about this image that he like has um for just the public for the uh, people who are watching him like you don't mm-hmm. really know if this is like how will really truly is or as a person yeah so but I as... this, this go ahead Nathia. my apologies i don't mean to interrupt here in some type of way or Especially because it's like the second time it happens, you know. Um, so I don't know. I feel like I feel like somehow he got carried away by what people have been talking about his marriage since the allegations of cheating or whatever that was. Well, they're not even allegations because they confirmed it. Um, since all of this like things on the red table were like talked and. I, I feel like they kind of feel like they have to show that their relationship is strong. Okay. And that it will continue to be strong regardless of what people are saying. And I feel like if he was if he was kind of acting on that type of like mentality. Yeah. But it was definitely not the right thing to do. I mean like you just don't go and slap someone. Now look at it this way, Nati. People don't know this, but that slap as simple as it might look you see how it turned his head it's an assault in this country it's an assault right you can actually go to jail it is a misdemeanor so you can't just go around and slapping people and setting these examples on national television in front of you know my kids or other kids that watch you because remember when will smith came out late 80s early 90s he wanted to rap right so he did the whole rapping game before he started to get into the movie him and jazzy jeff and one of his thing was not to have any cursing in his song right that was his thing 
I wasn't going to have any cursing in my song. He was still able to come out and sell platinum records. You know, I'm going to Miami, whatever the case is, you know, and he was able to make these records without putting any cursing in it. So my kids could watch it or, you know, the kids of that generation or when I was growing up then, I could watch his song. I could listen to his song in front of my parents and there was no issue. And then he started to make movies, right? And then you fast forward all the way to now and then he's slapping people in the face on national television. Arguably, arguably um, the biggest um, the biggest award show as far as you know the arts are concerned. So you're slapping people. So what what happened to the guy that said, "Hey, I'm not going to be doing cursing," you know, in my songs all these years ago or uh, up to now? I can rap and not curse like everyone else, and I can still sell more record than them, even though I'm not cursing. And then you come on TV and slap people in the face. Come on, what kind of example does that set for the kids? right yeah you see what i'm um, talking about the the oscar said you know uh they're gonna condemn him for slapping chris rock i think he's you know they're doing a formal review and he's going to apologize uh to chris rock i think or he did that already i think he apologized to chris rock or something but whichever way they're they're having a thing that they said going on um thing they say here chris uh will Smith apologize to chris rock after the academy um condemns his slap of course you know that the academy doesn't want this this is you know the bow tie event this is the event for the movies and then you're you're doing this kind of stuff on it uh let's see hey you says um well hold on now. hey you says um why have security at the oscar if there's going to let anyone walk onto the stage at any time well the thing about it hey you i don't think they expected will Smith to walk onto the stage at any time and remember these are the people that you are giving the awards to so you're you're expecting them to be well behaved you know, after all these years of watching these guys receive award and doing the things that they're doing, you would never expect this to be happen to happen, especially on a stage like this. You know, it's almost like when the whole Janet Jackson thing and the uh, and the, the malfunction robe. You remember that during the Super Bowl? Nobody expected that. You know, it just they said her her clothes mal. You know, she had one of those outfit malfunction. And then it just happened just like that. So that's the same thing with the whole Will Smith case. Nobody was expecting that. Uh, Nati, please hold on for me a second. Um, CK, you're back. Yes, yes, I'm back. Yes, I'm back on. Okay. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, I can and hear you, you loud and, you and know, clear. And you know, you know, at the Oscars, this never happened, right, Jason? Okay. Talk to yeah, me. This, the, there was never any kind of violence or assault at the Oscars before. This is the first in history. In history. In history. Interesting. And, See, I didn't and, even know and, that. and what makes it not look good is Will Smith being black. Ah, yeah. I thought it was you tough. Know, those thought... people are probably in the back. You see what happens when these when black, black people, people show power. up at our event? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, it came to mind. I thought about the same thing for a second. I was there sitting down. I was watching them thinking, really? Come on, let someone else do it first. You know, right. if it happened a second time and you did it, oh, great. But come on, you know, it, it, it was it was just too much. Yeah, that, right. that that part there kind of bothered me a little bit because I'm like, damn, you know, this is the Oscars. This is the most civilized kind of get together there is. This is not a BT Awards. Very true. You know, very true. Where people you are shooting what, guns. You heard what Denzel said, right? Denzel right. said, when you're at your top, remember the devil's going to come for you. You know, he said right. something to that, to that, to that, to those words. And you see the way Denzel have carried himself over the years. Right. Yeah, so, Denzel, Denzel looks like the guy, the type that would slap the shit out of somebody. But, <laughs> <laughs> but he hasn't done it. He's, he, he has been able to maintain composure all yeah. of this time. You know, you know, all this time that's been going on. Hey, CK, hold on for me one second, please. Uh, uh, Doc, Doc, can you hear me? Doc. Hey, Doc, I think I can hear myself, Dr. Disrespect. Uh, Doc, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you a little bit. Uh, go, go ahead. Doc, I can hear you. Go ahead. If you're having a problem with that mic or something, Doc, I think I think that's what it is. Doc, you can hear me? I can't. I can't hear him. I can't hear him, CK. I can't hear Doc. Uh, Doc, you might have to um, try it again, man. The last time it was the same thing. You know, your mic keep muting and then you can't. I don't know if you can. You can hear me. I just can't hear you. I can't hear you over here. That's uh, that's what's going on. 
Doc, you can hear it? I can't hear him. I can't hear him. Hey, um, CK, we're back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that yeah. that that part right there, that kind of bothered me a little bit, you know, because uh, this is, uh, you know, the Oscar, they always complain about. Remember, Will Smith boy, boycotted the Oscars uh, a few years him and, back. Him and his wife. They did, him and they, his um, wife, you know, because he was not nominated, right? Sure. They yeah, and they, and they felt like you know it was not a lot of diversity, you know, being being awarded in in the show. And here you are, you know, being invited, included again, and then, you know, this uh, shit show happens. So it's uh, yeah. it's it was a bad look. It was a bad look. Yeah, it was a bad look. It, it really yeah. was. It's going to change the game of the whole Oscar and, because now when. And, and Go here's ahead. the thing too, you know, I, I was talking to my wife and, and she made a good point. She said, you know, look at the joke, for example, right? G.I. Jane. Anybody who's watched G.I. Jane, that was a revolutionary movie. Sure. I watched it. You know, and, and, and the lady, it's it's more of a compliment to her than it is a diss. I agree. I agree because I love that movie, um, you know, with Bruce Willis' ex-wife. Uh, you know, I really, really, really like that movie. That movie right. Really Demi Moore. It. Yes. Yeah, Demi Moore. Yeah. So, so I really enjoy that movie. You know, I, 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 I think they took it a little too seriously, though. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, I definitely think so, too. I don't know why she took it so personal. Like it was such an attack on her because he was just saying that, you know, he's talking about a movie. And not right. like he was saying, oh, man, he was making fun of you because you're, you know, you're going bald or you have this uh, illness that's going on or this kind of disease that's going right. on. With your, your, I, I, you know. I didn't I didn't know she had she had uh, uh, the alopecia? A, 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 yeah, alopecia going on. I thought it was yeah. a style, you know, because well, was this her first time doing this? This is not her first time going bald. No, right? this, it, it looks it looks like a style anyone. to me. Really. Yeah. Yeah, they look yeah. like today's generation style. Because right. I saw her daughter, I saw her yeah. daughter also bald her hair, and I'm yeah. I'm assuming it's through the solidarity because her mom is going through the issue. So she yeah. said, "Hey, you know, if I bald my hair, then we can both be bald together." That's what I think. Not sure if exactly that's what they were thinking in their household, but that's exactly what was going on. But we're talking about the Will Smith thing, Lisa. Right, Ryan. right. You talking about uh, uh, Hello? What what's her name again? Um, her name. The the daughter? Yeah. We thought, uh, what's uh, Willow? Yeah, Willow, Willow. Willow. Yeah, 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 that's her name. Yeah, she was born for a minute. It's like it's the style you see it everywhere. Yeah, yeah, you it know? seems, but it seems like um, Willow was doing it because her mom was going through the uh, the medical issue because she's been oh. talking about it for a minute. So I oh, think okay. Willow was doing it because in a solidarity to her mom, you know what I'm saying? So both of them has the ball head going on or whatever the case is. So, I mean, if you watch her show, you'd be a little bit more into their life. I don't watch this show a lot. Yeah, I don't um, watch the show. I don't watch the show. I watch clips here and there, but I don't really, yeah. I'm not into that show like that. Cause it yeah. seems like they always talk about the same thing. Exactly. Um, Hey, hey, here, um, Lisa Lyon, uh, good evening. We were talking about what happened last night at the Oscar. Uh, I don't know if you missed it. Seems like you missed it. Hold on, CK, for a second. Lisa Lyon is asking me what's going on. So basically what happened was Will Smith went up on the stage last night and slapped the daylights out of Chris Rock. And we're here having a conversation about it. Did, do we, do you think he handled it well? I mean, if you missed it, I don't know how, because everyone around the globe has seen that. You know, Rather than we talking about Will Smith receiving his first Oscar, you know, for the well-played role that he did in King Richard. Uh, now we're here talking about the slap that he did and, you know, will the LAPD be filing charges against him or will Chris Rock be filing charges? So that's what the conversation is this evening about uh, what's going on in our world or what's going on with Will Smith. You there, CK? Yes, yes, I'm here. Yeah, that's what she was asking because she wanted to see what was going on. The Academy released a statement. Hey, you saying the Academy released a statement saying that uh, they don't condemn violence, um, yet they gave <laughs> Will an Oscar. Well, the Oscar was given to him before. Uh, right, it was decided happened. already. <laughs> yeah, so the Oscar was already decided. You know, we just didn't see it, but the paperwork was already written and all this stuff, you know, for his body of work that he has done. You know what exactly um you know had to do with king richard i feel bad for the situation because number one like ck was saying he is a minority 
And number two, you know, just talking about the story, the Williams sister, you know, King Rich, you know, you know, Richard uh, Williams, you know, how he trained his girls and, you know, bring them into this world where just imagine going back, you know, we also have the discrimination coming forward. And then, you know, he was able to work so hard with his girls to bring them out to be the best at what tennis know today. And for him to take the story and get an Oscar for it, you know, you know, he's praised for his role. And then he gets out there and act a fool and go on stage just because of what a guy, you know, a comedian that is hired to do that job. It's almost like you're an actor, you're, you know, you're an Uber driver, whatever it is that you are, it's, it is your job to do what it is that you're doing. And um, you go out there and slap the daylights out of the guy because your your wife made, you know, some eye movement, you know, about, you know, basically don't liking the joke that he was making about um, G.I. Jane. And I don't think that was a bad joke at all. Yeah. And did you notice uh, Lupita Nyang next to Will Smith? Oh, man. She, <laughs> she, yeah, she was like, can you please put me in the back of the building? <laughs> you saw, she, <laughs> you saw she was confused. Like, <laughs> she was yeah. confused and she was like, oh, what is happening? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm pretty sure Lupita, because, you know, the caliber actor she is or who Will Smith is, it, it was exciting time for her to sit that close to Will. But after this went down, she's like, can you put me in the back of the building? I'm too close to this guy. Right. I, I think she was part of Will Smith party because Will Smith took mm. over there 20 people with him. Okay. Okay. Yeah. She was part of everybody that was surrounding Will Smith, the, the Serena Williams and all of them, they were part of the Will Smith party mm -hmm. in there. So. You know, for him to act out like that, it just kind of, it was a surprise to everyone. And I kind of read it somewhere that, you know, during the break, he was, uh, Denzel, Denzel went and talked to him. And then, uh, you know, a few other people went and talked to him, trying to comfort him a little bit about the situation. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I heard Denzel, man, was just so calm. You know, Denzel was just there basically telling him, hey, uh, just remember, you know, when you're at your highest point, this is when the devil comes in and try to get you to the floor because you see how hard it is just to climb this ladder to get to the top, right? right. It is an everlasting. You can take a lifetime trying to climb that ladder. And when you get to the top, I mean, just let go of the ladder and see how fast you get to the bottom. You know, right. Gravity is a beast. And that's what I think Denzel was just trying to get. But it is, great. is uh, are the Oscars worth anything? The recognition. Okay, we can ask the same question about you know, the ice. Because if you look at it, right, there are mm -hmm. so many people who've been in the first time movie or did some role. They won Oscars, sure. and then after that, their career went to went to shit. True, true. Well, we can say the same thing about football players and the Eisman Trophy. You right. come out of college with the Eisman Trophy, you're automatically up here, right? Right. So you're starting from the top. You're not working your way up like in the case of Tom Brady. You're starting from the top, and then you have nowhere else to go but down. Yeah. So the question is, you're right. It would be is the how much is the Oscar worth? But remember, you have the Oscar, you got the Golden Globe, you have all of these other, but it's just supposed to be recognition of a great body of work that you have done, right? Right. And supposedly it, you know, increase your pay going forward. But you know, who to tell? The Oscar doesn't always work for everyone. It works right. for some because Will Smith has done great over his almost 30 year career. Right. And he hasn't had an Oscar. <laughs> So. No, he has he hasn't had an Oscar. I don't know if it means anything. I mean, I guess to them it mean it means a lot, you know. Because if I look at Monique, when Monique won the Oscars for Precious, mm -hmm. after that she couldn't get a job. You're right. I forgot that Monique won that Oscar for Precious, and, and she did a great job. Where that's what I'm saying. After that, Monique doesn't show up in anything. I don't have to do with the right. screen. She got anymore. she got she got blackballed after that. You would think that okay, somebody. Who, you know, of Monique's talent got, got an Oscar, mm -hmm. you know, they're going to get booked and booked and booked and booked. But yeah. then after that, she just, her career went to crap. Yeah, you're right about that. You're right about that. And we haven't heard anything about Monique um, you know? rec recently. And um, hey, Lisa's accent, she said, after he got slapped, what happened? I said, after he got slapped, he went back and sat in his seat, Lisa, and started to tell uh, Chris Rock, Take my wife effing <laughs> name out of your mouth. That's what happened. And he had like this tears coming down his eyes, like this whole face and Lupita to the side, like looking all kind of strange. Yeah, so that's what happened. And Chris yeah. Rock said, hey, I just got slapped the shit out of my Will Smith. Chris Rock said it. He made it into a joke, Lisa. So yeah, right. that was... He took, uh, he, I, 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 I really liked the Chris Rock reaction to it. He turned it into a joke. And then Will Smith yes. went, keep, keep, you know, my wife's name out of your mouth 
And mm-hmm. Chris Rock was like, okay. And he kept his composure and kept going with the show. He had a job to do. A true professional. Yeah, a true, true professional. professional. Yes. You know? The way, just the way he was able to go up there and just get it done, get out of the Oscar. What does this mean for Chris Rock, guys, going forward? He's, he's solid. Uh, is, there, is there another Oscar in Chris Rock future? As far Absolutely. as Absolutely. Absolutely? Absolutely. Because... The Oscar, not not a lot of people watch the Oscar like that, right? Because it's the it's the long show, it's a three hour show, and it tends to be boring at times. So to mm-hmm. have somebody like Chris Rock entertaining people, you know, I I think definitely they will have Chris Rock back. Will Smith, they, if if they invite him back, they're gonna put him in the back of the room. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're going to make an example. We're going to remember this, and something will happen in the next Oscar. They're, Mark it down. I'm telling they're you, going to give him the a, back seat. Give, <laughs> I, think so too. I agree. I agree because I'm telling you. But no, I was wondering what's going to happen with Chris Rock because he handled it so well. Yeah. Listen, you know what I was saying today? I was telling a friend of mine. I said, "Man, he hit the right guy because if it was someone else." They right. would have floored him. They would have floored him right in the on the Oscar on national TV. Man. There's no way you get up there and you swing on someone, and not everyone is going to take that punch. You 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 slap him, he's going to punch. But you know, someone would normally would punch back. Why he didn't go ahead and do that to like one of those other rappers or something? <laughs> you know, that, that, that's what was going through my mind when he did that. I said, "Man, this, this guy did it to the if rock. This, if he this was right K- if this was Cat Williams or uh, uh, Dave Chappelle or <laughs> yeah, Dave Chappelle, yeah, Dave Chappelle, yeah, it him right there. I'm telling you, there's no way he would be taking a punch, taking it a slap. It, like it would have been a fight. <laughs> yeah." Yeah, doctor, doctor, disrespect and say you gotta have th- you gotta have thick skin in this world. No, no you doubt about to. it. Especially when you're a public figure. How could you right. be a public figure and someone are saying some people are saying things about you and you can't handle it? You have to be able to handle it. Yeah. Yeah, I th- I think Will Smith, Will Smith just beat Kanye West, man. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Man, what do you see? I think, I Kanye, think, think. Kanye has a way of showing up during, during shows. <laughs> you know, but he, he never really hit anybody. So. Yes, even yeah. about, is, is it a thing about them after their career? Because Will Smith's career is going great. I wouldn't say his career is all messed up and falling. No, Will Smith has he, been tough. Well, that's what I'm saying. Will Smith's career is going great. So he doesn't need this kind of you know, publicity to keep his career going. I think his career is going great. Yeah. I still watch the guy's stuff all the time. You know, I still listen to his music. So I don't think he need this kind of, you know, negative event, especially on your first Oscar. You know, what is he going to do? Call um, the Williams sisters and then call uh, Richard Williams and say, hey, man, I apologize for messing up your Oscar. I got the Oscar, but now nobody's talking about a movie. Everybody's talking about me and I slap Chris Rock. You know, I mean... Chris Rock should have slapped him back, man. I'm telling you, I we think, have something I think, better to talk I think, about. I, I, think, I think YouTube did this to Will Smith, man, because he gets on his YouTube channel and yeah. watch the comments. <laughs> 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 you know, he's not he's not a YouTuber too now. <laughs> so <laughs> he's always blocked. <laughs> so he's always on YouTube. So he did this for people in the comments, you know, of his YouTube channel. So they, they can put some respect on his name. Thank you for some respect on me. <laughs> hey, listen, I tell you, some people, I, I have Lisa in here. She's saying, Lisa is saying, man, I would slap him back. You know, so she's, <laughs> most people would slap him back, Lisa. I'm telling you, it would be a hard hit. You know, not mm-hmm. everyone would just take that slap and that's it. What did the Egyptian say? An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. I mean, if you slap me, I'm going to slap no. you back. You know? No, the way, the way Chris Rock did it, that's how it should have been done. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. I don't think he could have done it any better. I thought right, it was because um, the, the show has to still go on. You know, if if Chris Chris Rock had slapped him back, and it turned into a fight, you know, they'll be like, you know, look 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 at him, look at yeah. him. Yeah, you know, you can't take him anyway. <laughs> yeah, very true. He was, and then it would affect his career going forward. You know, right. because you know the Oscar wouldn't want him back, and all the other shows that he, he that he has done over the years that he has going on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he, he did, but this is he, this is good. This is good for Chris Rock because he just found a new material, comedy material. Oh, no doubt about you it. You know, for no his upcoming <laughs> for his upcoming shows, he's going to talk about this and make money. People are going to want to see it. 
Yep, Chris Rock that's gonna be yeah. out there. He's gonna be out maybe, there maybe, about maybe, that. maybe Netflix is just gonna is calling him and say, Hey, you wanna do a special? You wanna do a special? <laughs> and he's gonna start out with a Will Smith slap. Okay, <laughs> we came on the Oscar, did you guys not see it? And bam, one slap. Yeah. And yeah. they're going to do, just like how they're doing the memes, and they make the memes of Jada, you know, uh, flicking her eyes, and then Wilson just jumped up and ran up on the stage and starts like, wait, wait for a couple of days and give these people a chance <laughs> to get the memes the right way. People are going to be making more. People are going to be making more fun of him right now than they were yeah. making of him before. You know, right. with his marriage problem that he had. Man, it do, yeah. it doesn't get any better, man. Oh man, so this is what yeah, Lisa Lyon is lost, you know, because she she said she just got back and she just couldn't believe it. Lisa, I'm telling you, you missed this one. And you it doesn't matter where you were in the world, if you are if you just look at one of your screen, you would see this, Lisa. It's, it's been a crazy time last night at the Oscar. So um, yeah, that's I mean, let, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes in a couple of days. What would really this flip is, the story? Yeah, is the slap the slap the slap stole the show because nobody's talking about who won the Oscar, who won what for what. Everybody's talking about Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. Yeah, we need a redo. We yeah. need a retake of the show because um that's it. We no one is talking about the Oscar. The Oscar lost this title last night. We we're talking about Will Smith and Chris Rock. That's it. That's it. it. No, and more <laughs> and more we're talking about the slap than anything else. You know, it's the slap that's doing it right now than anything else. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh yeah, that's that, that's what it is, man. That's that's crazy though. That's crazy. It's but hey, we'll see. Give it a couple of days and see what would make the story flip is if the Oscar comes out tomorrow or two days from now and say, Hey, guess what? We're resending the Oscar from Will Smith. Yeah. Now that would be another topic for the rest of 2022. Hey Jason, I gotta jump off, man. My son is uh do your thing. Do your thing. We'll talk soon. Thanks for taking uh, right, it in. Okay, all right, cool. Bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. Yeah, guys. So, um, yeah, Lisa. So that's what. Um, let me see. Hey, you. Hey, you says. Uh, I just saw a TMZ clip of Cedric the Entertainer already talking about last night in one of his comedy show. What? Hey, you really? So that means Cedric the Entertainer just beat Chris Rock to what's going on or what happened last night. That's that's the way to go. Uh, Lisa, you can call in, man. I mean, I put the link in the chat. You can call in. We can we can chit chat about it. I can't believe you miss it. Uh, I put the link in the chat. You can call me and. Um, we can have a we can have a quick chit chat about it before I sign off. But uh, it was an it was an eventful night. We I started out by watching TikTok because TikTok reached out and said, "Hey, uh, start watching TikTok," you know, with the red carpet. And then from the red carpet, we went on inside the uh, Adobe Studio, I think it was. And then from there, the event started happening. And then after the um, after the first, you know, everything was going normal. It was supposed to be a normal Oscar night until things start falling apart. So. It's, and then here we are. Here we are talking about Will Smith slapping the daylights out of Chris Rock. Let's see what is you guys are saying. Um, so he started out. So yeah. Let me see. T word says um, Chris was a true gem. Yeah, Chris was a definitely a true gem. He handled himself um, much better than I thought he would. Chris, uh, T. I'm um, sorry, T World. I think Chris handled himself much better than how I thought he would because. I don't know most people would have handled it that way so i give him props i give him big up i you know i look forward to watching chris going forward man i would like to know what his next kit is going to be what is he going to be talking about and uh, i'm pretty sure this will be one of the night to remember it's going to be a a memorable night to talk about let's see what else you guys are saying where did lisa go lisa thought you were calling you're done you're out all right guys so yeah that's um that's it for me today man um thanks thank you very much for everyone that was in here giving us you know uh helping to be um part of the laugh t world says yes he did yeah t and uh, t's world he did an amazing job he sure did i commended him maybe a younger chris rock would have uh, done something different but the mature chris rock has um handled this thing with composure had respect on the art you know respect the um the area respect his job and i i commended him i respect you know what he did and um hopefully these two can get together like family and you know like pd says let's end this thing with love no need for violence no need to be fighting no you know we can come to an understanding to an agreement with this one uh it wasn't that bad a joke i don't think it was a joke i like ck says there is no such thing as a bad joke 
all right guys so yeah um please guys remember to subscribe to the channel don't forget to hit that like button and um so i can so you guys can catch me on the other one all right i appreciate each and every one of you remember love those who love you and those who do not all right so have yourself a wonderful night peace and love and thank you for being here